Good morning. It's August 1st. Our reading today from Solid Stepping Stones is called Church Discipline Day. It comes from 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 20. Publicly rebuke people who continue in sin so that the rest may have fear. This verse has some heavy social and legal implications in our litigation-minded society. Note the tense of the participle I have translated, people who continue in sin. It is the continuous tense which implies people who repeatedly sin and there is no end in sight. Everybody in every church will fail sometime in their walk and we must be ready to pick them up, dust them off, and help them get back in the race. But there are people in the church who are so entangled in their sins that they simply will not repent And at that point, all you can do is try to put the fear of God into the rest of the church by making an example of them. We see this in 1 Corinthians chapter 5. It takes a lot of tedious work and repeated attempts at restoration and repentance. But when it is determined that someone is so inundated with a sin that they not only will not turn from it, but also have become a danger to the rest of the church if we don't deal with it, then we must act. It is not pleasant. It is dangerous and must be done with a multitude of counselors, lest it become a personality issue. It hurts everyone involved, but there is a time for public rebuke. Today is Church Discipline Day. Consider your own life. Are there areas where you are rationalizing sin? Consider this verse and let enough dread come upon you to repent. Are you in leadership in your home, business, or church? There is a time for discipline, but it must be done very carefully. Let's pray. God, first show me the beams in my own eye. Then help me help others to repent. Give me the boldness I need to make sure everything under my authority goes according to your righteousness. If you agree with that prayer, say amen. Your readings today are from Nehemiah chapters 12 and 13 and Luke chapter 23. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.